Good morning and welcome to the channel. It, it's going to be a hot day and it's only going to be a half day. So instead of drywalling, we're actually going to jump inside the utility room and start mudding it in preparation for a bunch of the sub trades so they can put all their stuff in and I'm not coming in after the fact trying to work around all their stuff. So we'll be fast tracking it using Sheetrock 90 to do our first coat. I think that will be the game plan. It's always a little tricky to use it for a whole coat, but let's jump inside and I'll tell you a little bit more what's happening. Okay, so to catch you up on speed of where I left off last time, there was an error in my memory card, so it didn't record the last few clips of me finishing the utility room and bathroom, but I can give you a quick rundown of the completion of that. So here's the bathroom finished, and where I finished up this piece is where my camera stopped recording, but basically got that done, and then I jumped into here, got the utility room done, Pretty straightforward. I got enough plywood to finish this section here that we ran short on. My goal for today is going to be getting a coat of mud on in here. Basically just because it's gonna be a lot easier to do it now than when all the utility guys come in and hook up their stuff. They'll be fastening whatever they need to on the plywood itself. So instead of trying to set up a ladder around the water tank, the batteries, the converter, all that stuff, I'm just gonna try and fast track it now with Sheetrock 90 and have it ready hopefully for them to come and do their stuff in a couple days. I think the well guy is coming sometime this week and then the solar guy is coming on Thursday or Friday. Today is Tuesday so mud does take a little bit of time to dry. It's super humid, you can see it in the air it feels like. Um, it could take even longer so we'll do the first coat, fast track it, use Sheetrock 90 and make some forward motion in preparation for uh, all the guys that need to do their stuff. Super dark though in here so we'll see how much I show. Okay, so all I really need for this first coat are my drywall tape. Paper's better than mesh, I would say, 98% of the time. So I use paper. Personal preference though, maybe, but I've just seen the mesh stuff fail too often. Four-inch drywall knife. I use a hawk rather than a pan. This is just what I was taught on, so this is what I'm comfortable using. Doesn't really matter what you use. I'm sure there's pros and cons to both. And then I'll be using CertainTeed. M2 Tech, which is a 90 minute setting compound. The one thing we do have to figure out is water. We don't have the water installed yet because we'll be doing solar power. We'll be drilling a well, putting a DC, I believe it's a submersible pump in the ground in the well and uh, we'll need solar hooked up in order to run that well and get water. We do have a water bucket back here but it has fallen over as you can see it used to be sitting on the skid pile and somehow it fell off so i basically want to figure out is if i can get the water out of here and there is a hole and there's nothing living in it look ferns that's nice so i'll just grab a bucket or a cup or something oh look a bucket perfect So I'll just use this, put the water I need into my five gallon pail. Okay. Yeah. Something like this. Ooh. Surprised nothing has died in there yet. I don't see any dead mice or anything. So I've got two buckets, one to mix in and one to clean my tools in. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, I'll do my mixing out here, but before I start mixing, I'm gonna prep the area because this stuff dries really quickly, so I don't want to get into trouble once it's already mixed up. 
because as soon as I add water to this stuff, there's a chemical reaction which speeds up the drying process. That's why it's called 90 typically is because it will set in 90 minutes. The working time is only 20 to maybe 30 minutes. So all I have to do to prep the area is get my corner bead ready, which goes on here. I don't like going right tight to the floor anyways. So I'll take like an inch off, keep it up off the floor, and for when we install our subfloor and flooring itself, it won't be in the way as much either then. Put my factory edge up, like so, and then I'll mud this corner, stick this on, push it into my wet mud, squeeze out any excess, and that's how I'll do my corner. So then I go around and cut my paper tape to size, but first, You'll notice this butt seam. I'm gonna stitch it together. So if this two by four behind it does twist or move at all, which it might, hopefully this seam will move together rather than separately and have a risk of tearing the paper and creating a crack. Like so. And then for my paper tape. So anywhere there's a seam, tape has to go over to bind that drywall together. Think of it as like gluing the pieces together basically. So I'll go around every seam, I'll cut my piece to size so it's ready to go. Again, because of this 90, it dries so fast, it's easier to have everything prepared before I mix that stuff up. And to help things move a little quicker for when I am ready to go, I'll stick my paper close to the seam. In this case, I can just put it here. That way when I'm up here, when I put the mud on the wall, I know exactly what piece of paper goes where. So I'm gonna go around, do all that. This piece is for the corner, and your tape comes pre-creased. So all I have to do to make the 90, to make that corner in my tape, is just fold it on that crease. Just like that, and there's my corner. So I'll do that for all the inside corners, and then the outside corners, you saw I had that corner bead. I got all the tape cut to size and put in place within reach. Looks like this basically. Just pieces hanging down everywhere. It might look a little confusing, but I know what goes where. So I have two options of what I could do here. I can mix one batch and see if I can get it all done with one. I'm not that confident though. <laughs> And it's easier to apply wet mud than remove dry mud, especially when it's 90 because it dries a lot harder, even though this stuff is sandable. So I think I'll mix up two batches, just safer that way. Sometimes the slow route is the fast route. I'm really not sure how this is going to pick up on the camera in this dark room. But I'll try and get a couple seams done for you so you can see what it looks like. also have a time limit on this stuff so moving the camera will be a little difficult do this inside corner. And then I know where my corner is because I stuck it right there. So I have this little corner all done, and now I'm going to go back over one side of the tape. Technically this is part of the second coat, but it's a good idea to do it because that gives the mud time to dry, and then when I do this side of the tape, I won't be digging into my wet mud. I finished up the first batch of mud, very little waste as you can see, which is always nice. It was starting to stiffen up pretty quickly at the end there. 
I was able to get it on do this side of the room. I think I'll mix up almost the same amount to do the other side. There's a little less on the other side, but I have to do the ceiling and I have to do the screw heads. So play it safe again. It might end up being three coats, but better safe than creating more work down the road with dry mud. I've come to the end of my second batch almost. I'll have to do one more for the ceiling, mix up a little bit more, but with this excess, I'm gonna do the screw heads. And to do these, instead of doing them one at a time, I just do this. And again over here. So I'll go around, do all those with this excess, mix up one more smaller batch to do the ceiling seam, and then this ring will be done. Okay, we got the first coat done in here, which basically means all our seams are taped. So the corner bead is installed and the second coat is on that. The inside corners also have the first coat and part of the second coat on. And then the flats here basically just have one coat on. And then all the screw heads have one coat on as well. So this will be able to dry overnight pretty easily, if not by the end of the day. Um, so I can come back tomorrow and do a second coat on it. And then depending how that turns out, because it is utility room, we might just get by with two coats. Uh, and then I can quickly sand it, prime the walls, prime the plywood, and just paint it all white. We'll do all that before the utilities start being installed, which might be at the end of this week. Just a lot easier and more efficient, quicker to do it now. Okay, that's going to do it for today's video. Tomorrow I'll come back, do a second coat of mud in that utility room, and hopefully start the ceiling drywall in the main area at the cathedral here so we'll see how that goes with the big 12 foot sheets hopefully i can manage it by myself but that will be in the next video so stay tuned thanks for watching and see you in that one